it's hard to capture the astonishment that the uh, experts in, sci in the science of ice felt when they saw this uh, minimum in 2005, which meant that uh, the amount of ice that had melted, it's been roughly the size of the continental United States minus an area roughly the size of Arizona, nothing against Arizona. But the amount that melted in 2005 was equivalent to an area covering everything east of the Mississippi River in the United States. Then, when the real shock to the scientists came was in 2007, when this happened. And their phrase was, it fell off a cliff. Uh, and then the extra amount that melted was this much. Now, this, does, this covers the area of ice. It does not cover the volume of the ice. And Bob Carell referred to this. The U.S. Naval Postgraduate School has a team that integrates the U.S. Navy's nuclear submarines that go under the ice cap and satellite measurements that are calibrated to work with it. And based on that, they said actually 2008 had a smaller minimum, probably, than 2007. And these are figures uh, that are fresh. I don't know if they've been, uh, I don't know when they were released, but I just got them yesterday from, uh, from uh, Dr. Vashlav Maslowski at the Naval Postgraduate School. And this is the volumetric record of the ice. And uh, some of the models suggest to Dr. Maslowski that there is a 75% chance that the entire North Polar ice cap during summer, during some of the summer months could be completely ice-free within the next five to seven years. 